Hi, my name is Matthew Raptus here in Palm Beach, Florida at Raptus Rare Books. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this book, a first edition of Betty Smith's classic novel, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. This was her first published book, and it is highly autobiographical. She was born Elizabeth, nickname of Betty Weiner, on December 15th, 1896 in Brooklyn, New York, to first generation German Americans. They lived in various tenement housing projects, and as her alcoholic father only worked sporadically, she was forced to quit school to help her mother support the family. Like the protagonist, Francie Nolan, in the story, she loved reading and made great use out of the public library. In 1919, she married George Smith, who was a law student in Michigan. They had two children, and Betty was able to finish some of her education once they were a little, a little older. And also, she had not completed high school. The university allowed her to enroll in some classes, such as journalism, literature, writing, and drama. Betty began working more and more, publishing little tidbits in newspapers and magazines. And in 1930, the couple moved back east. George began teaching at Yale, and Betty was able to take classes there as well. The relationship had been a, a rocky one, however, and the couple officially separated in 1933. The next 10 years were particularly difficult for Betty economically until she finally hit it big with this novel right here. In 1936, she had moved to Chapel Hill to work on a few theater projects, and there she found the distance necessary from her ex-husband, her mother, and from her harsh childhood in the tenements of Williamsburg to be able to look at them with a critical eye. 700 miles from Brooklyn, she began to see it in its proper perspective. Although Smith wrote A Tree Grows in Brooklyn with no immediate prospect of publication, her business sense, probably gleaned from the streets of New York, made her keep circulating her manuscripts in the mail. Originally titled They Lived in Brooklyn to Many Publishers, beginning in 1940, it was repeatedly rejected, like many great novels. Finally, in, the, in May of 1942, she submitted it to Harper and Brothers' nonfiction contest, and although it was not eligible for the contest, it did receive the attention of the editor, and they accepted it for publication. When it first appeared in 1943, it was an immediate bestseller and social phenomenon, and has since become an icon of our cultural consciousness and a symbol of the American dream. Although the book addresses many different issues, such as poverty and alcoholism, its main theme is the need for tenacity, the determination to rise above difficult circumstances like the tree of heaven. Brooklyn's inhabitants fight for the sun and air necessary for their survival. By 1945, nearly three million copies of the book in the English language alone had been sold. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn was quickly translated into 16 other languages as well, and Smith herself became a celebrity and a major figure in the literary life of the 1940s. It was the basis for the 1945 film directed by Ilya Kazan, with Peggy Ann Garner winning Special Academy Award for Outstanding Child Actress of 1945. James Dunn won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in the film. With regards to issue points, the first edition is 443 pages long, and first edition is stated on the copyright page above DS and below 8-43. The binding is green cloth with, paper, with a paper spine label. On the dust jacket, 275 price is on the upper corner of the front dust jacket flap, and 5338 is on the bottom. This particular copy is signed by Betty Smith, which makes it even more collectible. For more information, about this book, please, or any other of our books, please visit our website, raptusrarebooks.com, or feel free to stop in our gallery here in Palm Beach, Florida.